All right, Hacksters, happy Throwback Thursday. We have an interesting feature today compared to our usual super boring features. But this one is the Gumsticks Overo Firestorm board. This thing has um, Angstrom Linux loaded on it, and it is the size of about maybe my index finger. It's ridiculous. We're going to get out of the box and take a close-up look. This thing is from 2009. So nowadays, we're kind of used to tiny little boards that run entire Linux. Uh, but this was 2009. And uh, it sort of predates some of the things that I see still going on today. So it kind of reminds me in some ways of the SparkFun Micromod series because it was a bunch of little computers that you could swap around different, between different carrier boards, kind of like the Intel Edison as well. And we're going to take a look at that also because there's a really cool old retired SparkFun product that I don't have. I can't do a whole show on its own, but we'll take a look at it in this uh, today. So here is our shiny little box with the computer in it. Look at this. Look at how teeny tiny this device is. It's ridiculous. Get it out of the bag. And the main features that you'll see here are the uh, main chip on here. You've got a micro SD card slot. Let me see if I can get it closer for you. Oh, there we go. All right, so micro SD card slot. We've got a camera connector teeny tiny little camera connector. Uh, they would sell a flex cable for this. Gumsticks is still around, by the way. This is just an old board of theirs. Uh, and your wireless modules. So this was part of a four element series. This is Firestorm. They also had air, water, and earth, which is very cute. And um, so yeah, you've got your wireless thing, your main chip, your camera connector, and your S micro SD card connector. And then on the back here, you have a couple of 70 pin connectors that would be used to connect this to breakouts, as well as four little holes for support, uh, for connecting it to other things and for little standoffs that would, would do that. We'll take a look at some of the breakout boards as well. But yeah, gumsticks. Yeah, literally smaller than my index finger. Look at that. It's, it's so small and it runs Linux. Okay. Uh, more specifically, it was loaded with Angstrom Linux. You can still find the pages for these. They say they're backordered and it's been discontinued and stuff. It included uh, OpenGL and DSP with Texas Instruments, Ylink 8, uh, Bluetooth 4.1. Remember when we were on the 4s? MBLE and AO2.11 BG and wireless Wi-Fi communications with access point mode. So you get a lot of uh, functionality in a really tiny little space. I couldn't find the exact product page for this one, which has two antenna connectors and it came with two little stubby antennas. Uh, so I'm not sure, I, I don't have that exact product page for you, but this one is very cute. It is however featured in their video about the Overo series, which you can watch this whole thing. Um, here, here they are showing the fire, air, water, and earth modules. They kind of look a, like a similar situation to Arduino's uh, Nano 33 BLE Sense and just the BLE, where they have sort of the same board, but they populate it with extra things if you get the cool version, <laughs> is my perception of this, because you can see that BGN uh, or BGA connector here, the ball grid array on the bottom where you'd have, you would have put that um, wireless module. And then and over here you have the uh, review overview of all the expansion boards. So these are interesting. Uh, you have a couple of ones that include USB connectors, ethernet connectors, um, as well as audio in and out. You've got a line in, you've got audio out, you've got OTG connectors, which are mini USB mini and power connectors. And then those 70 pin connectors that are very flat and discreet and low profile, but high throughput to connect them to the gumsticks modules themselves. Some of these have like also a, a Raspberry Pi style 40 pin connector on the edge, 
One of them is designed for sort of wall-mounted wireless displays. One of them is designed for more handheld displays. And then the one uh, second from the right there is designed as a very simple breakout with like basically all you would need to turn it into a computer. And then the two similar looking ones in the middle there with the USB connectors on there were just sort of simple breakouts, 40 pins on a side. Oh wait, no, 20 pins on each side, 40 pins total. Um, yeah, and those would enable you to just break out all the pins on it. Oh, we're getting rain here, I love it. Another cool thing about the Overo series was that they released public documents for all their boards and things. So if you wanted to design your own breakout for it, you could just go through here, look at, for example, the Chestnut 43 breakout uh, and find all the info that you needed to recreate it or create your own sort of takeoff on it. I think I've just downloaded that. It's not gonna show up in the browser, but so it goes. Uh, they had a whole series of these. You can still find them under the Computers on Module series. And there's more information about the Overo series as a whole. You can compare the different types that there were, uh, really just see how tiny these are. If you think that I just have massive hands and this thing wasn't that small, look at it with a AA battery. Lots of good documentation on this one. Okay. But Gumsticks is still a co company that's around. They still sell things, including, I found this really cool Raspberry Pi Zero battery board. It basically breaks out your Raspberry Pi Zero. You put some uh, AA rechargeable batteries. It's gotta be nickel metal hydride or NICAD batteries into the holder and it will charge them when you plug it into USB, but then you can take it on the go, stick your Raspberry Pi Zero in your pocket with a couple of AA's and you're ready to go. And it also has an IMU for bonus. 3D accelerometer and 3D gyro. That's so cool. So they're still making some really cool stuff. They've got a bunch of breakouts for the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4 that you can check out. I think they're doing some kind of a promotion on that. Pi Power Over Ethernet, LoRa Gateway, <laughs> all kinds of interesting stuff. So check them out uh, if you're interested in small computer breakouts. Yeah, really cool. I noted that this reminded me of, so the, the Gumsticks module, includes two 70 pin connectors on the back to hook it up to stuff. And this reminded me a lot of the Intel Edison, which is a very similar idea, actually, just, you know, six years later, I had, or five or six years later, the Intel Edison, ah! <laughs> there we go, also running Linux. It was running Yocto Linux, uh, which I believe is a flavor of Ubuntu. And it was, I remember trying to work with these things and what a, how much tears, blood, whatever <laughs> went into that. You also have a little 70 pin connector though. It's a slightly larger one. Uh, similar idea though, you would put it onto a breakout board and then you'd be able to hook it up to whatever. You've got your little antenna connector, your whole little computer on a module and then you stick it onto different breakouts, very similar to what they're doing with the micro mod system from SparkFun these days. Um, and I want to point out, speaking of SparkFun, that they made some really cool breakouts for this that I never got to try out, but I always wanted to. This uh, inventor's kit for Intel Edison, where they had these little stacking boards. Look at this, I love this. You could A, make a cool like watch sized wearable device with a whole whole Linux computer on your wrist. I loved that idea. And then if you wanted something a little bit more robust or very specific uh, types of outputs for it, again, you could choose different blocks, but they were stackable as well. So it's sort of similar to this situation that you have going on with the expansion boards for gum sticks, but then you also have the ability to stack them, which I just love. So um, yeah, gum sticks, super teeny tiny. Intel Edison, uh, you know, that was sort of when I was starting to do hardware professionally. And so I really remember that as a thing, but this, uh, that was in like 2014, 2015, and this is from 2009. And it's, you know, arguably just as small. And with the same, a similar connector, this one had two of them, the Edison had one, but it also didn't have a built-in battery connector or a micro SD card on it. You had to like, 
get those things in the breakout. So I think, yeah, it's a really interesting set of little boards. Uh, Gumsticks Overo, discontinued now, but fun to take a look at. Go check it out. And uh, yeah, interesting to see how this kind of idea develops further in the future. Thanks for joining us for Throwback Thursday. We will see you soon and hack on. <laughs>